for the World Bank and um, to all our government officials here present, to the World Bank team present, and to the fourth, fourth estate. Um, I would like to use this platform or this medium to thank my president, President George Manewia, for the confidence he reposed in me for appointing me as the Director General for the Fisheries Authority, for his leadership and for his support. And because of that, we have this good story to tell today. I also want to thank our partners, the World Bank, especially the country manager that has worked with me assiduously to ensure that this signing ceremony has come to a reality. Um, it's been like two years, almost two years. I'm, I'm so excited. I mean, it started from the former country managers. There were a lot of back and forth diplomatic negotiations, uh, long travels up and down. And uh, we had to present several documents as justification that this sector has the potential for growth. And, and today we are here where we are today. Um, furthermore, the purpose of this World Bank project is for the expansion and rehabilitation of the Montserrado Fishing Pier. The Montserrado Fishing Pier has a great history in our country. We used to be the major exporter of shrimps to Japan, to the USA. And at that time, we generated, according to the World Bank report, at least 40 million. I mean, this project will take us back to where Liberia Fisheries was in the 1970s. We lose a lot of revenue, okay? Most of our industrial vessels operating in high seas, they only pay for fishing license, but they don't lend their catch here. All of the agreements we've signed, even with the EU, with private partners, is that when we have a uh, existing fishing port or a fishing harbor, they will be able to land a catch. Yeah, it will be processed. Forty percent will be sold on our domestic market, and we will have the and the bycatch as all as, uh, also will be landed. Yeah, all of these things are not implemented because we do not have a fishing port. We do not have a fishing harbor. We do not have any designated fishing port for these industrialized vessels to berth. So they all berth in countries like Ghana, Ivory Coast, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, and Sierra Leone. So that is huge revenue loss. Also, products for export, they are always routed, they are also routed through second member countries, those countries where they land are the countries that they process, they export products and they get export and the countries benefit from export fees. And we as a country do not benefit from export fees from our own natural resource. So this is such a big achievement for my government, for this government, that at least we'll be able to have our own fishing port like other countries in the sub-region. Also, this, the, the, the purpose of this, um, signing ceremony, we will be constructing landing jetty across the coastal counties of Liberia. I will also want to thank the World Bank. We did, um, uh, we did one landing jetty, I think in 2011 or 2012, is in Cape Mount. Um, we're still doing an assessment and very soon we'll, we'll do a, PPP, a PPA with it. Uh, and then we are already working on that. But we will have several landing jetties in other coastal counties that is, people, I mean, our fishermen will not no longer land on the beaches. They will have a designated landing site. And, and those landing sites, they will have ice flake machines so that they can carry ice on, on the boat so they can go and fish in. They will have a cold storage. They will have fresh fish market. They will also have a dry dock area. So, I mean, this is a whole new vision towards a fishery sector that has been dormant and overlooked 
and under and seen as an underperforming sector. And I also think I, I want to thank the Minister of Finance, especially that he has also seen this fisheries project as a priority to convince our government that this fisheries sector do have the potential for growth. And the World Bank also found reason with that. And this is why we are signing a 3.7 million um, uh, pr uh, project preparatory advancement document against a 40 million project. This is such a big gain for my country. And I just want to thank my team as well, who has worked with me assiduously to see this come to reality. Um, in terms of our governance uh, uh, structure, the World Bank is also supporting us. We just passed our fisheries law. We are working on our regulations, and we are working to lift the yellow card. I'm very optimistic. I've been talking to the EU ambassador. The yellow card, I'm optimistic that the yellow card will be lifted in, um, in March. I'm optimistic because we as a flag state, a port state, and a coastal state country have demonstrated that we have the ability and the capacity to regulate all our fishing vessels operating in our national on our national jurisdiction and areas beyond our national jurisdiction. That has been the concern of our partners and that the framework has already been put into place and we're expecting the team from the EU, they will be here by next week and they'll be working closely with us to make sure that we lift the yellow card. Now why this yellow card is very important is because if we have a yellow card, we do not export, we do not have, we cannot export or transship to any EU market. And looking at the accessibility, EU is closest, closest to Africa than Asia. So we need the EU market. And so lifting the yellow card is very, very crucial for us so that it can attract more and more substantial investment in our fishery sector then it, then it will not no more look as an underperforming sector. And I can show you, my team and I will make sure that Liberia turns into a fishing nation. Thank you very much. Thank you, madam. Another hand on the floor. Uh, very open statement. We now invite the country manager of the World Bank for remarks. Um, Honorable Minister of Finance and Development Planning, Honorable Deputy Ministers present here, uh, the Honorable Director General of National Fisheries and Aquaculture, colleagues from the World Bank, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor and privilege to uh, represent the World Bank at this event as we sign the letter of agreement between the International Development Association and the government of Liberia for a preparatory uh, project for a project preparatory advance in the amount of 3.7 million to finance the preparatory activities towards a bigger either financing of 40 million dollars to the fisheries sector. This is actually very significant, uh, and I have to emphasize that this will be a bigger because a bigger project because we did have a previous project under the West Africa Regional Project where Liberia benefited from that project in the amount of 12 million U.S. dollars. But because we would like to support 
Liberia in a big way, it was decided that we should scale up the financing to the sector. That's why Liberia is not only going to be getting 12 million, not only 24 million, but 40 million US dollars. So that the support to the sector can be really transformative. We believe that it is by supporting Liberia in a large way that we can make a significant impact to the lives and livelihoods of the people of Liberia. The World Bank recently, as I said, financed uh, a closed West Africa regional fisheries program, which was instrumental in helping Liberia to develop an inshore exclusive zone for uh, artisan fishermen. Uh, it helped draft and enact enabling legislation that was passed in 2019. The Director General referred to it, and which is going to be instrumental, we hope, in uh, getting uh, uh, the, the, the requisite recognition from the EU, the yellow card that Liberia needs. It helped complete uh, registration of small scale fishing fleets. It helped improve national fishing fleet licensing policies in a number of fisheries and an overall enhancement um, in licensing transparency. It has also helped uh, improve monitoring capabilities uh, by putting in place uh, a satellite-based vessel uh, monitoring system for industrial fleets. It also helped increase uh, sea patrols to combat illegal fishing. We also know that under this West Africa uh, project, uh, the World Bank helped the country to achieve better performance in social, economic, and ecological dimensions. However, like I said, we believe there is still more that can be done. And what we are hoping under this new project that is going to be prepared is to scale up the many activities, most of which the Director General uh, has outlined. We are hoping that uh, uh, going forward under the proposed uh, project, we are going to integrate the lessons learned from earlier projects within and outside uh, West Africa. At the regional, national, and community levels, the previous project gained a wealth of experience and observations from which the new project can learn. It will involve investments in improving management of selected fisheries, improving handling of fish and fish products, and support to aquaculture. The project will be implemented in Monserrato and four other sites, which again the Director General mentioned, to be selected in four coastal counties. The project is currently at the preparatory stage and design stage and will need the participation of many stakeholders to make it a success. So all in all, we are very excited uh, that we are reaching this milestone, and I'd like to thank the Director General uh, for her commitment to this effort. I'd like to thank the Minister of Finance for his leadership, and the President also for the vision that he has for this country. All us partners were here to support Liberia and we look forward to the implementation of this preparatory phase, but most importantly to the main project itself, which will be a scaled up project, as I said, in the amount of $40 million. <laughs> With these remarks, I thank you very much and I wish the government and the people of Liberia all the best as we continue to implement the Propua Agenda for Prosperity and Development. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President Manager, the World Bank Office Manager of Liberia, uh, Madam Hermann Glasgow, Director General of NAAFA, official of the World Bank Country Team, members of the Senior Management Team of the Ministry of Finance and Development Planning, here present. At this time, it is my pleasure and honor to now invite the Honorable Samuel D. Twelve Jr. Minister of Finance and Development Planning and Liberal Governance for the World Bank. Thank you. Thank you.
the, uh, the country manager of the World Bank, uh, other members of the World Bank family, staff, uh, ministers of the Ministry of Finance, the most competent, able director general, <laughs> the National Fisheries Authority, Distinguished members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me say a big thank you again. Uh, Puma, you know, since the new year, this is our first meeting uh, and our first signing, and we look forward to more signings in the new year. The, 20, the year 2020 is a year of recovery and prosperity. Um, let me say a big thank you for the support that the World Bank Group continues to avail to Liberia uh, through this administration. Um, upon his ascendancy, uh, the President engaged the World Bank family and the broader development community on strategic rethinking uh, to move toward uh, bigger projects, more meaningful, impactful projects, <coughs> examining the suite of portfolios in, among our, within our development partners, we've seen that there is a need to realign and to rescale. And some of what we're seeing is coming out of those conversations that the president has had with the bank and is having with other development partners. The latest one when the regional director was here, at the office of the president, where we began to talk about how can the bank help the country more meaningfully. You know, we know we're having conversations around scaling up also in agriculture. You know, the bank is looking for additional financing to the tune of 75 million more to come. So I think what we're going to see uh, in government, like in, in our relationship with the bank as a government, is a move towards more transformative, impactful projects that have uh, ramifications for job creation, for value addition in the economy. And I think that's, that's the vision that we all want to support. I will remain uh, committed to fulfilling our end of the partnership as we, as we roll out, out these projects. Well, Director General, let me say a big thank you uh, to you. Uh, when I became minister, technically, when I look at the data on fishery, the revenue, it was like a footnote. I didn't have, you walked into the office and said, Minister, with the appointment of the President, you will see we will turn the fisheries sector into a serious contributor to the government budget. I said, well, let's give it a try. It looks like it hasn't been doing much. But because of your passion and your commitment and your capability and your leadership and your push, she, she pushes too hard, she gets anything she wants. <laughs> you know, we are, we, are, we are seeing the dividends. And thanks to the president for his vision. Uh, in the sector and for even selecting you as a director general. Um, I can say that from a revenue standpoint, you know, you are meaningfully contributing to government revenue. And I think with developments like these, there's no reason why this sector cannot be a serious uh, contributor to overall development, a serious provider of jobs for our people. You know, we can't go back to where we used to be when we were exporting. Even if we can't export them, we should eat the fish that we have here. Yeah, I, I think this is the direction. And so, key in all of this is, is, is continual improvements on the governance piece. We say we are commitment, committed on the governance front to improving governance. You know, in all of what we do. Transparency, the fight against corruption, improved transformative governance remain the hallmark in all of these efforts. And so um, I, it's heartening to hear that you, I was heartened to hear that you, you know, we, we're, com we're confident we're going to move the, the, the scorecard and we continue to look at, there's still challenges in the sector. There will be in many sectors there are challenges, but it's a commitment to move towards uh, progress, to, to overcome those challenges that matter. So let me, let me say a big thank you for your, for your leadership. Definitely, this, uh, we all know, I mean, this, this project is going to have impact for Liberians. 
um, to be able to export more, to be able to consume more fish, to be able to add, add, add value, provide jobs. I mean, uh, move towards an industrial fishing pier. I, I think it's, it's something quite laudable. And I'm, and I'm very happy <coughs> that we are doing this signing today. We look forward to, to continue to work with the bank in a whole host of areas. As I've said, um, we recently signed a public financial management project, the new PFM project, which is doing very well, which is looking at e-procurement, e, uh, e improving revenue performance, contributing to service delivery in education and health. We're working with the bank on delivering a whole range of road projects, the Ganta Zwedru Corridor. It is coming online. Yellow machines will hit next dry season and we'll begin to see pavement along that road. Thanks uh, to the bank and the Liberia Reconstruction Rec uh, Infrastructure Trust Fund. Uh, the road funds support as well and the private sector who are financing that project. We're just having conversation on the second stretch, the Tapata to Zwedru. I think that's important. The president has reminded us, I think it was last week, uh, he would like to see by 2022 that whole stretch significantly advanced. The whole corridor from Ganta Hapa significantly advanced by 2022. Uh, we just did the, uh, the kick up with the vice president, Excellency Madam Joy Howard Taylor, of the San Inquil Local Tour Road, uh, which will be uh, commemorated by the pre dedicated by the president in December 2020, in 2022. That corridor will open the whole trade link with uh, Cote d'Ivoire and the region. So, I mean, as we're doing road transformation, as we're moving to agriculture, we can see clearly where the agenda is going, where the agenda is going. You are quite aware of the significant reforms that we've undertaken in the, the macroeconomic space. Uh, we passed a credible budget last year at 526. Uh, we reformed wage. Wage was a very difficult thing to reform. It's never been done. We don't like to see, wage reform is difficult because people don't like to do it, countries don't like to do it. But we were able to do it because it like, uh, we reached the end of the road, there was no further way to kick that can, and so we had to, to reform the wage. We're continuing wage reforms by doing pension as well. The, the civil service agency is working with the ministry and other entities to roll out pension. Again, the World Bank support is critical on the public sector modernization program. Your piece is vital. Uh, in that area, uh, uh, you know, we, we're looking at uh, the, the fight against corruption in terms of governance. Uh, we're having conversations on the need for a specialized court to accelerate cases, corruption cases. We're also looking at business climate. You know, business climate is a big thing. The way we want to attract investment here is to reform the business climate. Thanks to the leadership of His, His Honor, the Chief Justice, the Chief Justice has agreed that he is going to convene uh, the whole justice sector in a judicial conference. And we have engaged the World Bank, the UNDP, for support. This conference used to happen. Now what, we, what the Chief Justice idea is, is to use the conference to develop movements along the business climate. So the conference is principally going to be a, a, with, about the business climate, the whole challenge within the judicial landscape, the number of days, takes to try cases, civil law procedure. Judges themselves will be in charge of reforming the nexus of the business and the judiciary sector. So it looks like this is a good strategy and you have intimated that the bank is prepared to support this. This is what the, the this is the direction we're going. So in the years now we're able to turn a significant corner on business climate reform as a way of showing that we are bringing down the cost of doing business. One of the reasons why the cost of doing business is high is also because of electricity. There is going to be significant movement also in the electricity sector. Um, per kilowatt uh, kilometer hour cost, uh, per kilowatt uh, cost of electricity is um, is around 30, 35 cents, 33, 35 cents. It's still high. Regionally, we're looking at around 14, 15 cents in the region. So we're we're still prohibitive, even though we've made some progress coming from 55 cents per kilowatt hour. The government is working with the World Bank again and other development partners, MCC, uh, the American government, um, the Swedish government, and all our other development partners, the EU, to reform the electricity sector. Significant developments are going to happen within the management of the LEC. We're working to provide, uh, to launch, have a donor conference for 109 million new five-year plan that the management there has produced. We were able to pass an energy uh, power theft law last year 
and the government is committed to continue to work so that we can reduce finally um, the, the, the technical and commercial losses. LEC is a cash cow, but presently LEC is generating negative cash flows. The government have been able to substantially pay down its LEC debt um, in recent time because of the fiscal challenges we fell a little behind. We are ratcheting up to clearing that very soon. So uh, under the instruction of the president, I, I announced that we, the president has committed that in the next few weeks we will clear one million of LEC debt. The team here is processing 600,000 of that uh, because the LEC debt payment is a trigger on the MCC compact as well. But we want to pay. I can also report that the government of Liberia owes uh, the Liberia Water and Sewer Corporation nothing. We've been able to clear their debt from the previous administration and the current administration, and we owe LWSC nothing as we speak. We would like to announce that for LEC in the coming months. And so we're working very hard to be able to clear our bill with the LEC so that as we as we continue to improve the sector. So this is just all to say that we're leading up to the president's annual message, in which the president, uh, His Excellency, uh, Dr. George Manawia will set the base for what happened in the last year. It was quite a difficult macroeconomic year, but his story will also be about a story of how we were able to turn the corner and how the economy is transitioning to recovery and growth in the years ahead. Yeah. And, and that will be the tone of the President's message. Uh, and so the country waits for that message. This country will make progress thanks to the generous support and commitment of all of our development partners who are staying the ground with us here to look at uh, the whole range of development aspect, whether it has to do with, with improving the fiscal situation, the monetary situation, and you're going to see that. Uh, thank the President appointed a new central bank governor who's in charge of monetary policy, and we believe in the next several months we're going to see effectiveness and confidence restored in that sector as well with the support of, of all of our partners, particularly USAID, which is now helping with uh, supporting Crow to help you know restore confidence in the sector as well. So this is just to say, Madam Grasco and Mr. Country Manager, that I think we are we are we are we're going somewhere. Uh, the next two three years are going to be rewarding for the government for the country. Uh, there will be challenges, no doubt. There will always be challenges, but we have the commitment to overcome those challenges to resolve them. We're not we're not afraid of problems. We see problems, we confront them, and we check those boxes, and we move forward. I think that's the mantra of the Propo agenda. That is the passion of President Weir. That is the mandate he gives us every day. Uh, you have to solve the Liberian people problem. Uh, you cannot pass the buck because the buck was passed to you. You don't want to pass it to somebody else. You take that buck, and it, the buck ends with you, and then you change the landscape and make a move into history in that fashion. And every day we hear that message from him, and we are committed to work with our partners to turn this around. Thank you very much. We are moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, we now move to the second phase of our signing ceremonies. We are